Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. Please hit the subscription box, you will be glad you did. Today is all about this gorgeous Chinese style pepper steak. To see how I make this, please keep watching. So here I've got some flank steak. You don't have to use flank, you can use sirloin or ribeye or pretty much anything you want really. But flank steak is the best option for stir fry, so that's what we're going to be using. Please excuse my blunt knife. I haven't got anything better right now. I'm waiting on a Black Friday sale this week so I can change my knife. So I've got to make do with what I've got right now. So I'm just going to try my best, you know, to slice the, the beef thinly. And this is the best my knife can do right now, but that's fine because we're going to be tenderizing the beef much later. Now it's time to tenderize the meat and to do that I have wrapped my chopping board with some cling film, place the meat on top and then we'll cover with another piece of cling film and I will begin to beat it with my meat tenderizer or meat mallet, meat pounder, whichever one you want to call it until I'm happy with the size and this is perfect for me. So I'm just going to do that with the rest of the meat. So after tenderizing I will go ahead and slice the meat into bite sizes. The grains on the meat are horizontal, so I will be slicing vertically against the grain. This simply means slicing against the direction that the muscle fibers run. What this does is it makes the meat more tender and easier to chew. Once again, slicing against the grain. So I'm just going to do this with the rest of the meat. Now to season my beef, I will be using some stock cubes. You can use either chicken or beef. I'm using chicken. And I will also be using some minced garlic, minced ginger, dark soy sauce. You can also use light soy sauce, but the dark one sort of intensifies the color of the beef better. And I'm also using some honey. You can substitute brown sugar for honey, corn flour for thickening, sesame oil for that signature Chinese flavor, black pepper, after all it's pepper steak, vegetable oil and you can use any preferred oil if you don't want to use vegetable oil. So I'm just going to mix this thoroughly and then leave to marinate for an hour. You can do longer if you want but I'm pressed for time, so I'm just going to be doing an hour. Now it's time to prepare my sauce or slurry. And these are the ingredients I will be using. I've got some beef stock, some rice wine, garlic powder, brown sugar, black pepper, ginger powder, soy sauce, corn flour, and some sesame oil. And in case you're wondering, I've got the ingredients list as well as the measurement in my description box below. So if you want to check that out and I will just mix all the ingredients together and then just set aside for when it's needed. Please try as much as possible to get as much of the ingredients as you can, because they all sort of work together to give you that, that take out, that Chinese flavor. I mean, I have tried this recipe so many times and it just works perfectly every single time. So for my vegetables, I will be using some green and red bell peppers as well as an onion. So I will just be showing you briefly how I chop the peppers and the onions. Please feel free to mix and match your peppers. You can use the yellow, you can use the orange, whichever one is fine. But I, but there's just something about using green peppers for stir fries. You know, the taste is just different anyway. So I will just be using these two colors.
Now it's time to make the stir fry. So I've got a pan on medium heat and I'm just going to add some vegetable oil to it. And once that heats up, I will begin to add the marinated beef. I will be frying my beef in two batches and that's because my pan isn't big enough to accommodate all of the beef. So that's fine. I will be doing it twice. So this is the first batch and I'm just going to arrange them so they don't overlap. So now I'm just going to leave the beef to fry for about two minutes and then I will be back. And after two minutes, it's time to flip the beef over. As you can see, it is well cooked on one side. And as you can see as well, they are kind of clustered up, but that's fine. I will be separating them later. That's because of the honey. And then I will leave to cook on the other side for about two minutes again. And please, if you're going to be using flank steak, please do not overcook. Do not cook for more than four minutes at the most, otherwise it's gonna to be too chewy. And once it's cooked, I'm just going to transfer them onto a plate and return the pan onto the heat. At this time, I'm going to add some more vegetable oil onto the pan. And when it heats up, I will go in with some minced ginger and garlic, saute for about two minutes, and then add half of the chopped onions from before. And then I'm going to go ahead and saute for another two minutes. And after two minutes, I will go in with my chopped peppers as well as the rest of the onions. And this I will stir fry for about two to three minutes. You can do longer, but I like my vegetables crunchy. So I'm just going to do about two minutes. And then I'm going to add some stock cubes and black pepper. You can use salt instead of the stock cubes, but I'm just trying to avoid using salt because of the soy sauce that I have used already. And then I'm going to go in with this slurry. Now, the amount of slurry you add is going to depend on just how much sauce you like in your stir fries. I don't really like too much sauce. I don't like my vegetables and beef drowning in sauce at all. I just like, you know, just a bit. So I've only used about half of it. And then I'm just going to leave this to thicken up a bit. And once the sauce is thickened, I will go in with the fried beef. And because I'm more about the beef than anything else in this recipe, I'm going to add some more of the beef to it because you really can't have too much of it, can you? So I'm just going to mix to combine thoroughly and then I will leave this to fry for about two to three minutes. This pepper steak recipe is absolutely amazing. It is bursting with flavors from the spices and the seasonings and it pairs well with rice, potatoes, and you can also enjoy it on its own like I do. And after three minutes, this is what it looks like. Absolutely beautiful. If you do replicate this recipe, please let me know how you get on. I'd love to read from you. And do not forget to check my description box for the ingredients and measurements. And please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and also like and share with your family and friends. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.